One of the best times to prune landscape plants is when they're dormant, and one of the best times to actually look at those plants to figure out their structure is in the winter months when especially the deciduous ones have lost their foliage. This is a great example of what you are going to have to prune, and by prune this one, that means probably at the ground. A lot of our hybrid elms have very terrible structure. You can see what has happened here is literally half or more of this particular main stem has broken off. It's a poor attachment. There's a poor pruning cut here. There is actually a wound from the ripping part of the tree that has come all the way down the trunk. We have a lot of too many branches in one spot in this tree, which means that as they grow, they're going to be included like this, which means they're also not strong connections. We don't trunk thin, if at all possible, especially when plants are small, trees are small, they need all that foliage. However, you do look this time of year as well at anything that is an inch or less in diameter, likely time to take it off if it's not going to be something that will contribute to the quality of that tree in the future. There are a couple of ways to prune deciduous shrubs, one of them being into a hedge. This is a privet hedge that has been pruned this way for years and years. A couple of the cautionary notes, however, are you still have to look at the main structure of the plant. What you can see has happened over time is the pruning cuts to keep this hedge low have pretty consistently been made at about the same spot in the plant. The response of the plant is to throw out a whole bunch of shoots from that spot. You do that again, a whole bunch of shoots, and you end up with a very old cane from the base with little if any foliage on it. So ideally what would happen every three, four, five years, depending on the species, is you go into this hedge, it's very time consuming, but take out the oldest of the canes all the way down to the base of the plant. That encourages new growth to come from the base. You then feather cut slightly the top so you don't get this single stump with a lot of side shoots from the same spot in the plant every single season. This is not the ideal time of year to prune evergreens or broadleaf evergreens of any sort because they continue to transpire over the winter months. You open up those stems and that can cause winter dieback or desiccation. These ewes are an example of what you can look at, however, and that would be think in terms of how much more this plant is going to grow come spring. So you look at some of the longer growth from last season, you can imagine this shooting additional buds. If you don't do some selective pruning and heading back of those long branches, you can end up with very long floppy pieces of the shrubs that end up being susceptible to breakage or damage of some sort. That's going to be true for junipers, yews, some of the smaller evergreens, broadleaf evergreens like boxwoods. Take a look at how you can do that in such a way that it keeps the plant health. Of course, pines, spruce, and firs are a whole different ball game. So what you really wanna think about this time of year is take a look at what you've got in your landscape, look at the structure, look at where pruning mistakes have been made in the past, think about damage, think about growth in the coming season and be ready to get those sharpened tools out, ready to start cutting, pruning, and enjoying the outdoors in these crisp winter months.